The one thing you must avoid at all cost if you're looking to grow a beard, and this is very possibly the most important of all the things, and it's kind of a secret, so I can't believe I'm divulging that this early in the video. Don't shave. <laughs> it's that simple, just stop shaving. Video done, roll the credits. Obviously, I'm kidding, but kind of not at the same time. Growing a beard is pretty damn simple. Just don't shave. It kind of happens on its own. Not really much to it, which is why it's kind of funny in a way that there are so many videos on YouTube about how to grow a beard. And here I am, set here like a twat, adding to it. But honestly, even though it really is just that easy, I do see a lot of guys trying to grow a beard for the first time, give up on it because either they're frustrated because it isn't going well, or sometimes unfortunately, because their significant other says they look homeless and is threatening to hold the old honey pot hostage if you don't shave. Being that I've had a beard for the better part of 15 years and I have fallen into a couple of those pitfalls myself along the way, your boy here has a few suggestions on things you should avoid like it was the clap if you wanna grow out that face fuzz. And honestly, some of these are just as good for you guys that already have beards. You guys are just as guilty at beard abuse as the newbies. Genetics play the biggest part in how thick your beard is. What the texture is, if it's straighter, curlier, super curly, wavy, along with kind of the general shape of it, how high up your beard grows on your cheeks, how far down your neck, all that stuff is mostly genetics. Hell, mine connects my face hair grows into my chest hair, and then this grows around and connects with the back of my neck hair. I have to like shave a strip here or else I'd look like a woolly mammoth. Hell, it grows up to damn near under my eyes. I'm pretty sure someone in my family had sex with a Sasquatch at some point, I'm just saying. Point is 95% or maybe even more than that of how your beard grows is up to genetics. Rubbing some miracle potion on your face they show on social media, making dudes beards thicker and fuller, it's snake oil, man. It's smoke and mirrors, you're polishing brass on the Titanic. Almost all of that stuff is complete bullshit. There have been some results with certain products like things that have minoxidil in them, but even those results are super mixed and most of the products like minoxidil have to be used forever. If you stop using them, you'll lose all the thickness you gained. They have a list of side effects I personally don't think are worth maybe, keyword maybe, getting a few more hairs on your chinny chin chin. You are better off just making sure you're eating right and staying healthy, providing your body with the right vitamins and minerals like A, C, B7, D, E, iron, biotin, I don't know, E, there's, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Providing your body with those building blocks is probably gonna have more effect on your ability to grow a better beard than some miracle hair growth serum made from gorilla spunk that you buy online. Speaking of giving your body all the vitamins and minerals it needs to perform best, <laughs> Man, I nailed that segue, nailed it. I don't care what y'all say, nailed that one. Let's take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, AG1. One thing I do every day to support my health is take my AG1. With AG1, you get a comprehensive nutrition supplement to provide nutrients to your body, brain, and gut health, all in just one simple scoop mixed in six to eight ounces of water daily. It's kind of a one-stop shop for whole body health with its 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. AG1 has dairy-free probiotics and prebiotics, adaptogens and antioxidants, which support better sleep and lowering everyday mental and physical fatigue. It can also help benefit cognition, memory, and the nervous system. And a superfood complex with antioxidants that are known to counteract free radicals that can cause cell damage in your body. First thing in the morning when I get up, I mix one scoop of AG1 and in about six ounces of water and I slug it down. And don't get too worked up about the color. Don't let it scare you. It's actually pretty tasty stuff. It has a nice kind of light sweetness to it that helps balance out the green for you guys that are afraid of green things. Now you guys know I've talked about AG1 many times on the channel at this point. I've been using it for probably about a year now and I really do think it's great stuff and I've noticed a difference personally with myself. I historically don't have the best digestive system in the world, we've talked about this. I blame it on having my fair share of good times in my youth, <laughs> but nevertheless, since AG1, we'll say it feels uh, 
less violent. I also tend to feel more focused and energized throughout the day, just generally better. And being that we are traveling more this year, the little AG1 travel packs are great to throw in a backpack real quick. With my link down below, you will get five of those travel packs and a free one year supply of AG1 vitamin D3 K2 with your first purchase of AG1. The vitamin D is also really cool. You just throw a couple drops in with your AG1 drink in the morning and Bob's your uncle. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you tap the link down below to get started on AG1 and get your free one year supply of vitamin D3 K2 plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to the good folks at AG1 for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Let's get back to keeping you guys from committing war crimes against your beards. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's that simple. I know your mom told you to stop playing with it when you were a little kid and she was probably talking about something else completely, but it applies here also. Leave it be, man. Don't do any cutting or trimming for at least a month, maybe two, depending on your beard and how fast it grows. This sounds easy because you literally are not doing anything, but it's also one of the hardest things because man, do some guys have a tough time not fucking with their beards. It's like a sickness. You just can't wait to get in there with those trimmers that you probably just got through trimming your junk with, which is kind of nasty, by the way, I'm just saying, maybe get, a pair for upstairs and downstairs. You don't want to mix that. That's just weird. Be patient. You want to give it some time to fill in before you start trimming and shaping anything. I think some guys, they try to grow a beard and after a couple weeks, it looks patchy. So they just say, fuck it and shave. Not all the hairs on your face grow at the same pace. You got to give some of the slower areas time to catch up. Plus some of those thinner or bald patches oftentimes will fill in as the surrounding hair gets longer to help cover it up. I have a couple small spots in mine. There's like one like right, it's like right here. It's like a little bald patch that doesn't grow in very well, but you don't even notice it because the hair grows over it. I've also got one over here. It's not a bald patch, but it is a thinner patch over in here somewhere. But again, all this stuff grows, covers it up. You don't even know it's even there. So give your beard a month or two just to grow. Give it time to fill in, to thicken up a bit before you make any decisions on what to do, how to trim it, how to shape it, what style of beard you should go with, any of that kind of stuff. Just be patient. Your beard is a beautiful and unique snowflake. <laughs> Second time I've used a Fight Club quote in this video. Such a good movie. Really is an epic. One of my top, like probably 10 of all time. Anyway, your beard is unique to you. Don't compare your beard to anyone else and be disappointed if you can't get yours to look like someone else's. Some of us have crazy thick beards. Carlos, for instance, beard brand. He has like 950,000 hairs per square inch on his face. I swear to God, that guy clean shaves and by like three o'clock in the afternoon, he's got a beard. It's the craziest thing ever. But some guys have crazy thick beards. Some a little on the thin. You got a little bit of a Joe Dirt situation going on. The facial hair actually grows in on its own. All white trashy like that? Uh, I don't know what you're saying, but that, that's what's going on, yeah. Some guys have straight beards. Some guys have curly beards you get my drift. Instead of comparing your beard to others, just embrace what you have. Play with strengths and pick a beard style that complements it best. For instance, maybe you have a big, thick, epic mustache, but maybe the side areas are sparse as the Mojave. Then maybe you should pick something like, I don't know, like a Van Dyke or a goatee or some variation uh, of that that would work best. Something that accentuates the strong areas and not the weak points in your beard. Maybe you have a really wispy, thin mustache. Then you probably don't want to pick a style where you need to grow your mustache long unless you want to wind up looking like a villain from a kung fu movie. So pick a slightly shorter medium length beard style, something that allows you to keep the old womb broom short to medium length. Again, trying to minimize the weaker areas of your beard. Don't try to have someone else's beard. Embrace what you have and play to its strengths. Put the fucking trimmers down, man. More guys have shaved their beards because of over trimming than probably anything else ever. You trim a little here, then it's uneven. So you're like, ah, so then you trim a little bit over here to try to make it even. Then you realize you made that even shorter than that. Next thing you know, you're seesawing back and forth, trying to get even. And then before you know it, you look like you passed out in an alley and rats chewed half your damn beard off. Or even worse, you end up with a situation like this. Or this. And if you don't know what's wrong with those pictures, that's exactly why you should put the tremors down. 
There are not hard and fast rules you have to follow when trimming your beard, but there are certainly some guidelines you should follow to keep from looking like an early 2000s boy band. It's not a good look, bro. Let the chin strap die, for God's sakes. Just stop it. Guys also have a tendency to over trim their beards. If you're maintaining a stubble style beard, then yeah, you're gonna have to trim it pretty regularly to keep that super short, tight look. But if you're going for more a medium to longer beard, less is better. You don't need to cut or trim every little tiny fly hair that pops up. A slight shape up or a trim once every, I'd say four to six weeks is plenty. If you know how to trim your beard, and you're sure you know, then go for it. Sure, have at it. But if you have even the slightest doubt, well, let a professional do it. Go to a good barber, one that knows what's up with trimming beards, and let them do it for you. This is not an excuse to not maintain your beard, by the way. Keeping your beard shaped up and tidy is super important. If you just let it go month after month, it's gonna look all scraggly and unkempt, which is just as bad. And that's where you start running into those homeless comments. So maintain your beard, but don't over trim. And for the love of God, if you don't know what you're doing, put the trimmers down and leave it to the professionals. If you're gonna brave the waters of doing your own trimming, never, ever, 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 cut or trim your facial hair fresh out of the shower. When your beard is wet, it relaxes, it weighs it down, which makes it usually longer than it is when it's dry. It also hangs in ways that it doesn't when it's dry. So if you cut it or trim it when it's wet like that, you will inevitably fuck it up. Odds are once that baby dries out, something's gonna be uneven or it's gonna be way shorter than you had planned. And then you wind up chasing the trim, which leads to alley rat face, which we previously covered, not a good look. You wanna trim your beard when it's dry and in its natural form so you can accurately gauge where it needs trimming and how much to trim. Makes it way easier to free trim, like with some trimmers, and just kind of knock off the little loose fly hairs and stuff with some clippers, shape things up a little bit, and keep your beard looking epic. Don't go raw dog. And that applies to more than just beards, I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't try to grow a beard without using beard products or putting a little effort into grooming. We've covered this multiple times on the channel for one reason or the other, but some guys, for some reason, have this delusion that using certain products and grooming yourself isn't a manly thing to do. Well, if smelling good and making sure my wife is attracted to me is a feminine thing, Call me RuPaul, baby. If you want your girlfriend, wife, or whomever you're trying to attract to like your beard, you're going to need to maintain it with the proper shit. And this just isn't for them, by the way. Proper care and maintenance also makes it way more pleasant experience for you. And good side note, it also makes your beard look good, smell good, and be as healthy as it can be. For instance, a good beard oil or balm, which by the way, shameless plug, I have several of these. We got uh, softeners, washes, bombs. I do have several products that I work with Beard Brand to create, so link below if you wanna check those out. They're awesome. They will have your beard looking and smelling like a champion. But enough of the shameless promotion. A good beard oil, whether it's mine or some other brand, will help keep your beard smelling good. It'll help with the dry skin and beard dandruff by keeping the skin and your beard moisturized. It'll keep the beard a little softer, shinier, healthier. Often it can help in the early stages when you have that itchy face by softening up the hair a little bit. And while that will help soften it up and help with the itching with some people, I will warn you guys, for some guys that have oilier skin, Sometimes using beard oil when your beard is super, super short, like stubble, can sometimes cause breakouts and stuff like that. So test it out and see how it affects your skin before you go full bore. Beard oils and balms can also help kind of shape your beard and keep those flyaways laid down. Also, don't be afraid to use a blow dryer. I know that's a scary thing for a lot of guys, but this really helps a lot with shaping your beard if you wanna get it laid down and looking well-groomed. I have a whole video about my beard care routine that I'll link up above. We won't go too deep into all that because that's a whole video in and of itself, but a blow dryer is the one thing that changed my wife's mind on my beard. Before it was actually very curly and fluffy and kind of out of control, she was not a fan. But after I figured out how to blow dry and get it under control, totally changed her tune to loving it. And now if I shaved it, I think she would freak out. Part of your struggle of growing a beard is fighting with the significant other. Keep it looking nice and smelling nice. That goes a long way to getting rid of that friction 
with your partner. All right, folks. Well, hopefully some of the stuff on this list helps some of you guys out there. But before we go, we do need to draw a winner from last week's giveaway. Uh, we were giving away, ah, oh, this is perfect for this video. We were giving away a bottle of Bold Fortune, which works out fantastic. And the winner is MCV858. Well, congratulations, my brother. It looks like, from what I can see, that picture is small, but from what I can see in your uh, profile pic, you have a beard. So hopefully the bold fortune comes in handy for you. MCV says, great video as always. I've been looking at a bunch of these power stations. I might finally get one. Dude, I greatly recommend them. You can check out my last video. A lot of y'all, not a lot of you guys did for some reason. God, that video fucking tanked, like 10K views, which sucks. But I thought it was a cool video and the power stations are awesome. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check that video out. Congratulations, MCV. Make sure you go to the About tab on our YouTube page and get our business email on there. Shoot us an email with your uh, shipping info and we will get your beard oil shipped your way ASAP. Okay, so for this week's video, I mean, we gotta do another beard oil, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> We got to. So I'll do another bottle of Bold Fortune and maybe we'll throw in like uh, some of the softener or something like that to make sure the winner has the best smelling beard in the game with some of that Bold Fortune action. <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit's great. I haven't yet had anybody smell it that didn't think it was fantastic. So giveaway rules are as always, you have to be a subscriber to both channels, both this channel and the Jeremy Cyrus After Hours channel over there where we do our live streams and whatnot. You have to be a subscriber to our newsletter, which you can sign up for down below. You have to like the video, smash that like button as the YouTube people say. Comment down below. This week, let's do hashtag beard brand, hashtag bold fortune. And as always, we will draw the winner live in my next upload. All right, guys, well, that will wrap this one up. Hopefully you guys got some information out of this, maybe even a little entertainment. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Some of these dudes be coming out of the bathroom after trimming their beards, looking like Bigfoot with alopecia. What some of you guys do to your beard should be a damn war crime. Put the trimmers away and use some damn bold fortune so your beard smells epic and not like whatever your last meal was for god's sakes your lady will thank you <laughs>